Wow, okay, that's very good. That's very good. So we'll, we'll give the needy students some support in terms of bursary. Students, I have a message from you from your president, William Samoy Ruto. When he met with us as women representatives, he told us he has a major concern. He's concerned about teenage pregnancies. During the pandemic, when the students were at home with their parents, over 300,000 students got pregnant. Now you are all children and you're young. And you can today with technology, you can even have a child at the age of 50. There's no need to rush. I had my first daughter at the age of 32. I don't even remember who my boyfriend was in high school. I know I had one, I was in a mixed school, but I can't even remember his name. I don't even know where he is. Now some of you might be having a guy that you think is cute and he thinks you're beautiful, but remember, the minute he touches you, he will continue with his education. You will become a mother, a teen mom, when your education will be affected. He will go on to university. You might never catch up. And when he's trying to choose a wife, he will say, I want an educated woman. And he will not even marry you. So you'll become one of the many statistics that we call single mothers. It is so important to focus on your education. So important. The government is making a huge sacrifice. Your teachers, the principal are making huge sacrifices. Your parents have made huge sacrifices. There is so much time for love and lovey doveys and hugs and kisses and making babies in the future. Not now, not even when you get to university. I've seen university students battling with their college degrees and with a baby, right? When you reach the right age, you get on family planning because children are not supposed to be accidents. Children are supposed to be planned. And they are planned according to your pocket. And remember, as you grow, your parents are growing old. So you also have responsibility for your parents. And you want to become a career person. I hear most of you saying you want to become like Rita, be a CEO, some want to be an engineer, some want to become members of parliament. How are you going to do that if by the age of 13 you've had your first child, by the age of 15 you've had your second, by the age of 17 your third? You know, I don't know if you know Akothe. Akothe talks about her story and she calls herself the president of single mothers. She has six and they came like this. So you have to remember that you're here to study. Now there are some women, young girls who get pregnant not because they wanted to be naughty with a guy, because somebody defiled them or raped them. When that happens, I want you to talk to someone. Don't keep it inside you. But if you agreed to have sex with a young boy, don't go and accuse him of rape when you get pregnant. Because that again, it's the wrong thing to do. So I'm telling you as young teenagers, soon to be young adults, you're here to study. The results that Jared is saying you push the school to requires hard work. Isuzu have spent over nine, 10 million to put this hall for you to give you a better dining facility, to give you a place to be entertained, right? To, be, to give you a place to do your drama, your arts, to have your meals. This is a sacrifice that they've made. It will be terrible to not see the grades come up. I hear from their mentorship programs that they've seen a huge improvement in the standards. I've seen amazing motivation in the garden as I walked. I hope that when you pass it, you don't forget to read it. It's not there for you to pass. It's there for you to read and internalize. What is this message telling me? What am I supposed to do to make my life better? Because you know what? You're the captain of your own ship. You can't blame your parents if things go wrong. Because right now the parents have done very well to put you in school. Some of you will get bursaries. Others might not. 
But if the parents have made that sacrifice, and Mwalim, I hope you're not sending any Form 4s home because they don't have, they haven't finished paying their fees. Because, Jared, if we have a situation where there are some students who cannot sit their exams because they have a fee balance, I think we need to focus on that. So that every child should sit their exam. Right? And, and I think the Ministry of Education needs to really, really um, tell the schools in the country not to deny any student from sitting for their exams because they've not paid their fees. They've prepared for four years. They should not be stopped from having their ed examinations. Now, we're going to try through Ngaf. Jared forgot to tell you that he's put a project to make sure that we give calculators to the schools. So we're going to give calculators to the schools so that those who don't have calculators will be assisted with calculators. We have heard the need of, for a generator. We'll put it in our third and fourth quarter as a project. General Motors, uh, Isuzu have agreed to help us out with the, the estimates and the kind of generator we need. All I want to say is you have been blessed. And for that, every time you say your prayers, I want you to pray for Isuzu, East Africa. For the good work, you pray for them so that they can continue making the profits that they're making, continue providing the jobs that they're providing. You know, I was telling Rita that a few years ago, you know, now I'm 60 next year, so my God, many years ago, <laughs> when I first got to know General Motors, do you know when we went to a boardroom meeting, because I bought a few cars from them, when we went to a boardroom meeting, it was almost 60% white. The management was white. And today, the management is Kenyanized or Africanized. So that shows you that education pays. It is because they have studied, they have learned, they're able to serve the company, and they don't need to bring expatriates to serve. So that is why we want you to study hard. Our president talks about Africa being revived, Africa having its pride, not being called the dark continent, being called the continent to save the entire world. Because when it comes to global and climate change, it's Africa that is holding the key to saving the planet. As we expect Al Nino, it is not because we made the mistakes, it is because the global north made the mistakes. We only contribute as Africa f less than 4% to, uh, to the carbon that is in the, in the atmosphere. So all I want to say to you, please, you're here to study. Be students, don't be in such a hurry. By the way, do you know, when my daughter was 16, she wanted to go to the discos. By the time she was 18, she was tired of the discos. So wait, there's a time for everything. And when you're on holiday, it's a time to revise, to study, to be with your family, to be with your friends. I'm not saying you can't have boyfriends, but you can't have boyfriends that end up in your bed. That is not allowed, because you're still young, right? The president wants to see an end to teenage pregnancies. And we want to tell you as students that we do not want you to become mothers before you are mature enough to become mothers. Enjoy your childhood. That is so important. So I want to say it is such an honor to be here today. And I wouldn't have been here today if it wasn't for my sister, Rita, calling me and telling me, I have this function, I have this project, I'd like you to accompany me. And I'll tell you, there's no other place I would have rather been today than here. And I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all of you being human. Thank you for all of you being humane. Thank you for the sacrifices that you've made. And thank you for looking out for this school. And thank you, Madam Principal Grace Kamar, you have done well. Asitoke hapa mbaka amalize kazi yake. Tumesikia Mrs. Lesuda. Akae hapa mbaka shule ikamilike. Shamba iwe yetu eh? na afanye projects zile anafikiria ana, ana kwa kwa ndoto zake kufanyia wasichana wa hapa, si ndio? So it is my great honor. Please let's be upstanding so we can welcome our chief guest. Our chief guest, the lady that requires celebration. Ah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, so first is five. One, two, three, four, five.
four, three, two. Hawa hawaendi kwa meeting za siasa. Tuanze tena. Tano, ine, tatu, mbili, moja. Haya, tuande. Excellent.